in the kitchen with my chef for cutting cooking program guys today we want to show you can make yourself brown strew chicken big excitement and you know it's just a request so basically if you got something and you want to request it don't shy please write it below it might take some of the time but we get there because we got some pot roast beef coming up soon it's just because of one thing i need because i didn't have my dutch pot i'm waiting for the dutch pot so guys Hopefully this will be a benefit to you and you know what I mean the brown stew chicken can have it with anything It not to be it have to be with rice it can be with dumpling yum you name it banana whatever you like so cooking book is there uh, so Amazon the price has changed is your price so big up respect for every one of you guys who are watching the video Christmas present is coming up a lot of stuff is happening see you next time so guys, bye bye you know what I simply say to you stew chicken is different from brown stew chicken and I'm gonna make you brown stew chicken today basically right here i just washed off my chicken to some lemon juice and this is one kilos of chicken that's what we're working on to one pound in jamaica i got some spring onion white onion and garlic right here that's one of the main thing you need to have spring onion garlic i don't have it the first time and white onion chicken can't go wrong today we're gonna make brown stew chicken guys and remember stew chicken is different you're gonna serve it some plain rice Enjoy the recipe back in the kitchen again, again, and again. Chicken on the menu. Enjoy the recipe. Nice. So, right here, I got my medium sized frying pan on the stove, guys. And first of all, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of vegetable oil. That's the main thing I need to do. Um, then, basically, the next step, what you're gonna need to do is to put in your white onion and your garlic and your spring onion inside of the pot like that look at that guys beautiful and nice and lovely so that's all of your seasoning and then next thing what you need to do one spoonful of all purpose seasoning And one spoon of paprika. A pinch of grounded pimento. Lovely, you can smell the scent. This is smell lovely and nice. And a spoon of chicken seasoning. Yeah, man, the scent smell really, really, really nice. I can't imagine how it's gonna taste this evening. I'm telling you, this gonna be really nice. And also a teaspoon of everyday seasoning. Give it a little stir. We are making brown stew chicken. The next thing what you're gonna do after you have all of those kind of seasoning and then bits and pieces where you put in the guy, you can smell the scent of this. We're gonna add some browning. One teaspoon of browning. Some people use brown sugar and make them browning, but life is more easy, you know. You can get browning at any local shop to buy. That was back in the days, guys. Modern days now. The scent smells so lovely and nice guys if you ever smell the scent oh the scent is so nice then next thing what we're gonna do because remember that brown stew chicken we are making we're gonna put a little bit of ketchup inside of it give it a stir Nice one. Then the big bit now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the chicken. This is the most important part. 
That's the chicken. Beautiful and nice. Give it a stir. Why don't try this at home? Making brown sugar chicken in a different way. With Chef Ricardo. Try it at home, guys. Really nice. I might only thing I would do is add a little bit more brown into it. Roughly another half teaspoon. Nice and lovely. So, leave this for it to keep cooking for another 10 minutes. Yes, yes guys, look at this, beautiful. The best thing when I'm making brown stew chicken, don't cover it. Yeah, stew chicken is different from brown stew chicken, all right? So basically, as you can see, oil looking lovely and nice. At the moment, I'm boiling some water in my kettle to put inside of it. Right here, I have three salmon pepper, which I diced up. Lovely and nice. Right here, I have two medium-sized carrot, which I cut up very small. Lovely. Right here, I have three medium-sized potato, which I cut up right here. Add everything like this. Give it a stir. Then we're gonna put in a little spice and thing in it and spice them up and make them taste right and proper way by adding a few little things in it. Little bit of salt, little bit of sweet chili sauce. Then get this at any local shop to buy. I love my sweet chili sauce, man. Yeah, There's a lot of sugar, but be careful, guys, please. You don't want to use too much of these things. Very sweet. Especially if you're sweet, you don't want to use sweetness. Alright? So, then, add a little bit more ketchup. Pinch of soy sauce. Lovely and nice. Get in there, we get in there, we get in there, guys. This is beautiful, man. Really nice. Then, spoon of butter. Bring in the flavor. We need some flavor in this thing. You know? We have to put the flavor in and we get some taste and thing, you know what I mean? So, as you can see, give it a stir. Ah, oh, man. Look at this beautiful chicken. So what happened now? The butter gonna melt out by and give it a nice, lovely, shiny, glazy look. Mm, mm. Now we're gonna put in a cup of water inside of it. Boiling water from the kettle. That's the one you're supposed to use. That's everything is hot. So you just continue to add water, right? Just half cups of water, sorry guys. Not too much water. Lovely. Smell the scent of this glass. The vet them gonna spring a lot of water. So you don't want to put too much water inside of it. All right, then I might, I might put just a pinch more brown and not too much, just a little pinch. Yeah, nice one. I said I don't want it to look too white. It's, you know, I mean, it's brown stew chicken, and brown stew chicken is different from stew chicken. All right, all right. That look lovely, is it? Yes, looking nice. Yes, Chef Ricardo, keep it up. Looking lovely and nice, all right? So, I don't even have a taste of coming up with salt, all right? Um, so, basically now you need to cover it. That's me not cook with salt. All of those seasons got salt, all right? Cover it and leave it for another 15 minutes. Then we're gonna serve it on a medium size heat. Nice and lovely. I just take off the cover and look at it, guys. I wanna look at it when I said to myself, say, that's why my name is Chef Ricardo. 
because I know what I'm doing. This is beautiful and this is finished. You could put some chopped tomato inside of it, but you know, I, mean, I didn't have any, I didn't have any time, but that's fine. But I'm gonna share it out. This is finished and I make it cook for roughly 20 minutes, and this is the result where I get from it. So, what I must say, it is beautiful, it is done and dusted, can turn off my stove. Looking good. So I want to see how you're going to look with the rice now and some, some veg at the side. Enjoy the recipe guys. Nice and lovely. I just shared it out guys as you can see. Brown stew chicken with plain rice and veg and a nice lovely glass of fresh mango juice right here. Homemade mango juice guys. This is a nice lovely during the week start meal or on the weekend or on a Sunday. Most people love to have this kind of recipe. So guys, enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments and hopefully this brown stew chicken will be a benefit to you and your family. And leave your comments and subscribe to the channel. Visit my blog website, Chef Ricardo Cooking and also get a copy of my cooking book on Amazon for your price. See you next time. Enjoy. Bye-bye.